Hi there. On weekends, we do reruns so that yours truly can take a couple days off. Look for a fresh new episode on Monday. Meanwhile, please enjoy this episode from this day from a previous year. Thank you so much for your indulgence and loyalty, and have a great weekend. Enjoy! There's the 8 o'clock reminder. It says I'm live. Good morning, y'all. Let's see if we clear that reminder away. I'll probably get a few more. Let's see. Make this screen smaller so that I can see part of it and still see what I need to tell you. Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for December 16th. December 16th is the 350th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 351st in leap years with 15 days remaining to the end of the year. Now, I hope you can hear me. I've got this new mic right here, and I'm not, I'm not seeing many green dots there next to the microphone symbol, so I hope you can hear me all right. All righty. Had another very busy day yesterday and did not have time to edit a video, so we're going to go live. Um, I actually thought about replaying one from a previous year, but this new mic sounds so much better. And I hope you can hear me. <laughs> so I thought we'd try going live with the new mic. All righty. We'll begin as usual with a word. And today that word is putative. Putative is an adjective that means generally believed, supposed, or assumed to be something or some way. Putative is nearly always used before a noun, as in, he challenged her putative allegiance to the cause, or the putative reason for their dismissal was poor job performance. The origin of the word putative is Middle English, Latin before that. First known use of the word putative is in the 1400s, putative. All righty, and with that, we'll start with the birthday of Catherine of Aragon, born December 16th, 1485. She was a Spanish princess betrothed to Prince Arthur of Wales in order to forge an alliance between Spain and England against France. <laughs> These European conflicts have been going on for a long time. They married when they were 15, but Arthur died just a few months later. The powers that were decided to see if they couldn't marry her off to Arthur's younger brother, Henry VIII. Uh, Henry VIII turned out to be not the nicest person in the world. But um, she did become the first wife of Henry VIII. Uh, he had a wandering eye, though, and so in a few years, he became infatuated with somebody else and wanted to have the marriage annulled. Lucky for her, she was willing to be banished rather than executed. <laughs> so Catherine of Aragon did live to the age of 50. In 1486, the king of Portugal sent an expedition to sail around the southern tip of Africa in hopes of finding a trade route to India instead of the lengthy and difficult overland routes. That task initially fell to a man named Bartolomeu Diaz, Diaz, who set out on this trip in 1847. Is that right? No, it, that must be a typo, because we're talking about the 1400s here. 14, must be 1487. Yes, set out on this trip in 1487. He and his crew sailed south along the west coast of Africa. They made it around the Cape of Good Hope and the southern tip of Africa and were aiming back up the east coast of Africa. And I'm sure it was not an easy trip. And sure enough, his crew got 
they got a hat full of it. They refused to carry on. And the officers were unanimous in insisting they go back and return to Portugal. They got back to Portugal in December of 1488 after having been on the ocean for almost a year and a half. And while he did not make it to India, they did gain some useful information for future trips. And so it is that some nine years later, when Vasco da Gama attempted a similar voyage in an attempt to find a sea route to India, on December 16, 1497, da Gama and his crew passed the Great Fish River, where Bartolome, Dar, mouthful of name, <laughs> where Bartolomeu Diaz and his crew had previously turned back to Portugal, and da Gama was the first European to reach India by sea. This is the birthday of Ludwig van Beethoven, born December 15, 1770. Beethoven is considered to be one of the most influential composers of all time. He lived to the age of 53. Now you've heard of the Boston Tea Party, haven't you? That was on December 16, 1773. Members of the Sons of Liberty, disguised as Mohawk Indians, dumped hundreds of crates of tea into Boston Harbor in protest against the Tea Act. The Articles of Confederation and Perpetual Union was a document that had been drawn up, an agreement between the original first 13 states of the United States of America, and that document was to serve as the first constitution. And it was on this day, December 16, 1777, that Virginia was the first state to ratify those Articles of Constitution. On December 16, 1937, Theodore Cole and Ralph Rowe attempted an escape from Alcatraz Prison. Now, a few people back here on the mainland have said that they thought they'd seen the men post-escape, but they are generally thought to have perished in the ocean. That's a pretty tough swim from out there. A song called Unbreak My Heart was written by Diane Warren and recorded by Tony Braxton. Released in October of 1996, it reached the number one spot in the Billboard Hot 100 in December of 1996, which is where we find it on December 16th. It held that spot, that number one spot, into January of 1997, number one for a total of 11 weeks. Unbreak My Heart by Tony Braxton, our number one song for December 16th, 1996. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the description for links and let me know if you have any questions. And have a wonderful day. See you next time. Now we will look for the thank you very much button. Thank you very much.